stunning. This is amazing. Look at this original nudie suit. It's Man. so much detail. That's amazing. Look at, they just like add rhinestones to everything. That makes it country. I love it. It's so incredible. I can't imagine performing in that though. I feel like amazing. I would get married in that yeah, dress. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's so beautiful. What is your favorite George Chen song? I've got to say, He Stopped Loving Her Today is my absolute favorite. Classic, <laughs> yeah. Classic answer. That's yeah, perfect. Yeah, I love it so much. And I just noticed that the sheet music is right here for that song. I know. I'm freaking out. Many of the country icons are known for being from small towns, mm -hmm. and you are from a very small town yeah. in Saskatchewan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On the opposite end of the country. Uh, Wayburn, Saskatchewan is my Wayburn. hometown. Okay. Yeah, it's very small, very close to the U.S. border. And one thing that a lot of people don't realize is how incredible the country music following is in Canada. Yeah, we've got like our own country music scene up there. When Big artists come from Nashville and they come up and they, you know, do a festival or a performance and they're like, oh my gosh, these fans are incredible. We yeah. love country music up well, there. When did you first start listening to country music? I got into country music really young. Uh, my mom showed me some Patsy Cline songs mm -hmm. and I was just like, oh my gosh, I love this. Leanne Rhymes Blue. Um, <laughs> yes. That was one of the first songs that I ever taught myself how to sing. Like I did the little yodel thing yes. and ended up performing that song from age 10 to like 15 at little competitions and stuff because people were like, how'd you learn to do that? And yeah. I just taught myself with a cassette tape. Look at these license plates. I guess these were his. <laughs> it's so cool. There's so many snapshots of history in here. I love the handwritten notes and the original sheet music yeah. and everything. That's amazing. So at what age were you when you first started songwriting? I really started getting into songwriting about age 13 or 14. My parents actually gave me a guitar. When I picked up the guitar, it almost felt natural to just like start making up songs. You start being interested in boys and like <laughs> going out on dates and all of that stuff and you kind of have stuff to write about. Being at that age where you're falling in love, you're just like, I want yeah. to write about that. And yeah. that's what country music's all about. So at what point in your journey did you think, okay, I? gotta get to Nashville. I mean, I knew that there were a ton of songwriters here and I just kind of wanted to be in that world. Yeah. So age 14 or 15 was my very first trip to Nashville and I just got in the room with some songwriters and started doing that. That's I would usually come for about two weeks at a time, set up as many writing sessions as I could and ride away for two weeks and then go back to Canada. That is really impressive. Thank you. Especially at such a young age. You have a song that you wrote as both, I read it, a tribute and an apology? Yes. <laughs> um, I wrote a song called Call You Names. Okay. And it's basically, uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, um, it's about the transition of like being a teenager and you can't stand your parents during that time. You know, I don't know about other people, but I definitely went through that phase. I think that's pretty common for <laughs> yeah. most teenagers. Yeah, so I went through that phase and like, you know, I grew out of that obviously when I spent some time at home after I graduated high school, just saving up to move to Nashville. I saw everything that my mom was doing at home. Oh my gosh, she was keeping all of our worlds together. And yeah, she's <laughs> yeah. taking care of way more than you even can appreciate. Yeah. yeah. So I just felt bad that I had added more stress into her life. So I was like, okay, now that my mom and I are literally best friends, I call her every single day. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to write this song for her. It goes from, you know, calling your parents' names when you're younger to calling them beautiful names. So it's really that whole transition. Oh, that's such a beautiful idea for a country song. Thank and you. also being able to use your talents that she helped you achieve all of these goals that you had to be able to write a song for her. Yeah. That's really amazing. Thank you. Well, thank you for joining me here. Thank you so much.